Hey guys, what's up? It has been a while since I did a video. Um, been busy. I remember I'm working on me. So I finished studying and I passed the test. So I got my um, insurance and annuities license. And now I'm studying for my series six and six and probably six point six three or something like that for the um, investment license. So wish me luck with that. So I'm, I haven't been drawing much. This is the last thing that I was drawing on. I got to finish coloring it. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys. It's been so long. I don't know if I showed you guys this before. But that's what I'm drawing right now. Um, as far as art is concerned. And I uh, haven't done any spinning. Other, um, I haven't finished that braid of Azula Fiber. Uh, I gotta put my belt back on my B. It popped off and I've just been lazy and I haven't put it back. So I gotta put the belt back up there. So I get started back on spinning up. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working on. It's gonna be a quick video. I probably will be doing some ranting. We will see. So this is kinda showing up. Okay. This yarn is Hobby Lobby's yarn. And the band came off. That's kind of close. The pinks are a little bit more darker than that. So, but this is the yarn I'm using. Let me see if I can get the colorway for y'all. Let me get some of this stuff out of my bag. Stuff is getting tangled up. Got too many things of different, you know, yarns in here. Let me get all this stuff back separated out. It's like, um, they, I'm in a different building than the one I used to be in, and so, my, and my car, I gotta get my car fixed, I need tires, and so I, um, my husband's taking me to work, so I've been taking a little bit of everything with me, so I'll have stuff to do while I'm at, on my lunch and breaks and whatnot. Okay, so that's everything out of the bag. Yay. Alright, so. <clears throat> so the yarn is called Secrets. That's the colorway is Secrets. And it's a one of their prints prepared. That's the oh, I keep forgetting. That's the name of it. There you guys go. So that's the yarn I'm using um, as the border. The yarn that I made the body width is Knit Picks. They're acrylic yarn and I can't, I don't know what I did with the ball bands for it. I don't see it on my desk so I probably just tossed it. But uh, I've had this yarn for a couple years. Uh, probably about three or four years. So who knows if they even make it anymore. That's why I decided to go ahead and make virus shawls because I had about two Two, two balls of it and two balls of a they had like a green one um, like a teal so I got two balls of that and uh, and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to do the body and a color and then I'll pick a, like a one skein that I have to do the border in and um, I wanted this shawl to be a little bit bigger so it's going to have a larger a longer border then the ones I normally do, like, only use do, like, a couple of rows, but this one's going to have a longer border. And, of course, that's the virus shawl. I don't know what number that is. I will have to go back into my, I don't keep track of it because it's just fun to do it. I don't like keeping track of it. I want to just have fun with it. So, I'm making some booties. I haven't sewn these up yet, but you guys have seen those little, um, kimono crossover type booties where you 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 cross over this way you do one this way you know and you sew it up and you get this little cute booty after you sew it oh, it's hard okay and then like you know the openings up here and whatnot and then you cross the other one the opposite direction so that you have a left and a right and um, I'm work I just gotta sew these up I finished them the other night. And, and then I decided to do a hat for a baby, the uh, 
a baby version of that pussycat the pussy project hats so I made a baby version I just gotta seam it and it'll be ready um I didn't finish my little brain slug yet but I still have it I got the little I'm working on the ruffles that go around it now and then I gotta do the bottom part um untangling as, as I go <laughs> right, so there's my, my brain slug isn't finished but it's getting there and I've been working on um magic pot holders as well I have three that are ready to be seamed up different sizes playing around with the count to, until I get one the size and count that I really want it to be this is the one I was doing the brain split with, so I need to see that right there. And um, I need to detangle some stuff real quick. So this is trying to do this quick. We have uh, some neighbors who moved in across the street. They're dirty. They're nasty. Every time they have their, their company come over and they throw the trash down on the ground and stuff. While they're sitting out there in cars, um, and uh, we just have so much trouble in this neighborhood getting, you know, these these rentals and getting decent people in the rentals, and these landlords don't care. They don't care that they're putting riffraff in these rental units as long as they get a dollar. They don't care that we're that the that the long term the people owners house owners and stuff they don't care that we're having to suffer because of of their greed um you think they will vet them better and let them know you know to keep things and keep them with the neighborhood you know you would think that they would do that but they don't so for those um the hats and the booties i used the uh, clover Crochet, I mean knitting needles. These are like the, I think those are the eight inch, eight inches, and it's a 4.0 millimeter, which is a U.S. size six. And yeah, it says it's a Takumi clover. Yeah, so yeah, so these are the clovers. And I, these are like my favorite ones to do, like um, the little baby booties and hats in. So they're usually sitting over here. The needles that I and crochet hooks that I use the most are over here in this um, clay little clay glass that my daughter made. Let's see. She like scratched out some flowers and stuff on it before she fired it. And um that's pretty much all I have on me to show you guys. Um, I made some like little things here and there, and, but you know how I am. I make stuff. I just go ahead and give it, give it away to get it out, out of my area. So what I want to do is I'm going to make a list of things. I have a list of where I work at. Don't drink the water. If you know who I, if you some of the people who watch my videos from work, don't drink the water because every time I try, it's, they should not rename the place a nursery name because every time I turn around. I kid you not, there gotta be at least 40 or 50 women walking around pregnant every month. It's like, wow. <laughs> so, I have some friends who are pregnant that I work with, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be working on stuff for them. One is having a boy, one is having a girl, and one still doesn't know she's too, too early, it's too early for her, so I'm gonna be making some stuff for them. Um, I have another friend who requested some stuff in hot pink, and I don't have any hot pink yarn. Y'all know how I am about pink, so, okay? So I gotta go to Hoobie Looby, which is Hobby Lobby, <laughs> and get some hot pink yarn to make a, um, the little, another one of the little hats and booties, and, um, I'll probably make the little, Mittens, so they can't, the baby can't scratch the face and stuff. And 
And then I got, uh, someone wants a, somebody's already put a set order for football stuff. Uh, they want a scarf. The Raiders. I think it was Raiders. They want a, a Raiders scarf and they want a Dallas Cowboys scarf. And then somebody else ordered blankets, baby blankets for one for Dallas Cowboy. I think she didn't say the other colors. I have to find out. So, but I got yarn. I could do start the Dallas Cowboy stuff in. I have blue and gray and white, so I can start the Dallas Cowboy stuff. And I can start the Raider stuff. I think I got yeah. It looks like I got one thing of black, so I can start the like regular black, worsted black. So I can start the Raider stuff. I haven't finished my socks. Um, if I would just go ahead and do them, I could probably have them done, which I might, I might just, that might be my project after I sew all this stuff up, that might be my project for the holiday, is to, to go ahead and get those socks finished, so I can start another pair, so I at least have two pairs of socks I made this year, Sharon, and, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I really need to get started on them. Um, more socks for me before I be worn out the ones I have. I don't, I wear, I'm telling you, I wear my socks out because I love wearing them. I'm a diabetic, so I love handmade socks because they're not tight and, and cause me to have swelling and stuff when they're too, too, too constrictive on my legs. So I love handmade socks. And I, I think that's pretty much all I have. Um, And like my project gratitude, I still tell people to tell me three things you're grateful for and ask them how that makes them feel. And then I give them their homework to tell um, someone else the same thing and then give that person homework. So my project gratitude is spreading. Hopefully it'll be, it'll, it'll spread across to other places and stuff. Because, you know, people, you need, people need to be grateful for the things they have, not the things they don't have. Because the things you have is stuff that other people wish they had. We have so much abundance, and we don't even realize it. And it's just, you know, you just got to be grateful for the things you have, and other things will come. Um, so I'm going to let you guys go. I want to go ahead and get some of these projects done. And um, you probably won't see them again because they're going to be going to the person um, that I'm making this stuff for. Oh god, um, I'm sleepy and I'm tired. All this studying and doing and going and ripping and running, and it's like, oh yeah, yeah. Yesterday we went to it's like those ancient fish that they thought were extinct, but then they found them off the coast in deep water off Madagascar. The cold, cold, cold something, cold something fish. So we went there. To, there's a microbrewery here in Norfolk, Virginia, with the same name. And we went there last night with some friends, one of my friends was out of town. Hey, Laura! And, um, and then my friend Ashley and her husband were there, and then our friend Libby, she was there. And so we had a good time. They had, I don't generally drink beer, but they had a passion fruit beer. So I tried it, and it made me think about, if it had some cinnamon and ginger in it, it would have made me think of the ginger beer that my grandmother and them used to make when I was little and growing up. But it was um it had a fruity flavor to it, so it wasn't sweet. It was beer like, but the fruitiness of the passion fruit made it palatable for me. Um, I would like it if they had a wine or something in there for people who uh, visit. You know, they're coming there with their beer loving friends, but they don't drink beer, so I wish they would have a couple of house wines or something, you know, for people to drink. Um, that don't normally drink beer. But I tried it and it was okay. It wasn't, it wasn't, I wouldn't buy it to keep it at the house or anything like that or I can live without it. That's, you know, it's just beer is not my thing. I just, I'm not a beer person. I'm not a beer drinker. Most beers, the smell of most beers make me sick to my stomach. I just don't like beer. So, but we had a real good time meeting there. I posted some pictures on Instagram and Facebook. So, if you guys probably saw it last night. And, um, so yeah, that's what I did last night. Because it had been a while. I mean, it's been like, I don't think I've been to a meetup for Yarn for Breakfast since April or March. 
March or April, late March or April is the last time I went to a meetup. So it's always good to go and sit with friends and knit and have fun, and that's exactly what we did. Um, so that's pretty much all I got. I don't, I could rant, but I don't want to rant. I will, I, I gotta go get out of my work clothes and, uh, I just want to do a video so you guys know I'm okay. I'm fine. And um, I'm still working on me. And I'm still knitting and crocheting. I haven't spun in a while, though. But I'll be spinning. As soon as I put this belt back on, I'll be spinning probably this weekend. I took several days off because I wanted to rest. We're, we're supposed to go up to the annual family thing up in New York. But because my car needs to go in the shop, I don't think that's going to happen. I need tires on my car. I need some, I need brake shoes, and they're going to rotate the rotors, it depends on the thickness of the rotors, if it's not thick enough, then I'm going to have to get new rotors too, so you know, that's a, that's a nice little chunk of change going to be coming out of my pocket, and um, so yeah, so I would like to thank everybody who had orders in on Etsy um, for the uh, mystery yarn, where you just, you know, tell me a color that you like, and if I have yarn close to that color, then you know, they could buy it, like, and stuff and it's still on on Etsy so if you've been wanting to get some of my yarn my hand spun that's the best deal for you it's fifteen dollars a skein and um the repeat purchase buyers thank you very much for coming back and buying more of my yarn I'm glad you liked it um because I can't you guys know I'm a very prolific spinner and I'm I don't really use my hand spun so I can't use it all you guys have seen my stash so you know how much yarn and fiber I got. I cannot use it. So I'm trying to sell it. And it's not, I'm not even selling it for what it's worth. It's to people who will enjoy it, will love it, will make things with it. And um, so feel free to go over to Etsy and, and, and buy some of it. Because I want to really see it being used. And um, because mostly what I use is um because i'm making stuff for babies and stuff so i'm mostly using um, um nicer acrylics um which are still cheaper than the wools and the fine fine luxury fibers that i spent so yeah and um that's pretty much all that's going on around here i will try and do another video soon I can't guarantee it because like i said we got a lot of stuff my son graduated from high school so all my kids have graduated, guys. That's, that's all of them are through high school. And I'm very proud of all of them. Um, you know, if they choose to seek secondary education, it's up to them. If they choose not to, that's up to them. But they got to work. If you're going to stay here, you better start looking for a job. And um, help contribute to the bills and stuff, you know. I'm not legally obligated anymore. <laughs> And uh, I don't know, me and my husband, we might start thinking about downsizing and getting a smaller place and uh, not having to have all this, this stuff on us. And uh, it's, it's a good feeling when you, you, you've done what you had to do. But then you also have that side of it where you can't believe that, you know, your your child, your I don't know why it keeps doing this. It's driving me nuts. And Keep saying there's a threat found, but there's no threat. When you go to the window, there's no threat. So I'm going to have to contact Microsoft on that one. So, it's, um, it's, 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 it's life changing. Um, yeah, definitely a life changing thing. So, you know, wish me luck on that. Alright guys, take care. Have a good day.